hey guys it's casey here so you all i'm just hopping on because we are in the midst of praying for unsaved loved ones unsaved family members and i'm in the car i'm running errands before i get to so hope if this is your first time watching one of my videos i want to welcome you so what i'm doing this month is i am leading prayer where we are praying for unsaved loved ones unsaved family members we're just being really intentional this month and we're asking God to just give us a heart for the unsaved. I know that sometimes it can be really easy as believers to just kind of get in the motion of things where we're just like going about our day-to-day -day business, but may our hearts be tender for those that we encounter that don't yet know Jesus. So I wanna talk about refusing to be offended. So I gotta tell them myself, which is what I do very often. So some of you guys know that I recently rejoined Orange Theory Fitness, which is a specialized workout. It's like a boutique gym. So it's not like your normal gym. So there are these different stations that you work out at and you work out as a group. Um, and there is a coach that demonstrates the exercises in advance. And then for like a series of time, you work out. And so I went to um, work out on Sunday before church and I did two classes back to back. One was like a strength training, which was just no cardio, just weights. And then the second class was cardio and weights. So you can imagine a couple of days later, your girl is sore. And so I thought about not going to class, but I was like, you know what? I can at least go. I can at least do a little bit. And I'll just modify the exercises. So long story short, the coach demonstrates, she demonstrates exercises using the TRS x um contraption i don't like that thing I, I i just don't like it so she demonstrates exercises for the biceps and the triceps using this trx stuff and i just make up in my mind i'm like i'm not gonna do that she also demonstrates doing single leg deadlifts and i'm gonna get to prayer just hang in there with me and so I'm like, I'm not doing that because my hamstrings are already on fire. So I, with my just beautiful mind, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make up my own exercise routine right now. And so I eliminate the TRX straps. I just pull out the weights. And instead of doing those single leg deadlifts with, um, de with barbells, I decide that I'm going to do like the Superman, which is like this um, exercise on the floor. So anyway, the coach comes to me. She's like, hey, how are you? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm just modifying the, the workout today. I don't like TRX. I don't, um, my hamstrings are on fire. I don't wanna do those deadlifts. And she's like, yeah, but I can modify. I can give you some modifications, but you can't like just do your own thing. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, you know, you just can't like do your own thing at a, at a like you would at a normal gym. You have to do something at least that's somewhat similar to the exercises that everybody else is doing. So immediately I'm like, I don't like that because I feel like I'm paying my money. I should be able to do what I want to do, right? Um, but immediately Holy Spirit checks me and is like, you got to submit. You got to submit. She is the coach. You signed up for this class. You got to submit to the person that is in authority. And I'm reminded of Jesus, right? When um, John the Baptist you know, he sends his messengers to Jesus and he's like, you know, he's in jail getting ready to die. And, you know, he starts having like conflicting emotions. Like, is this really Jesus? And um, Jesus sends a word back to John the Baptist's uh, messengers or disciples. And he's like, hey, blessed are the ones that are not offended because of me. And you might be asking and saying, okay, what does this have to do about praying for our family members? One is how important it is for us to not allow offense to get in the way of us doing what God has called us to do. So even though I didn't like the idea of not being able to do my own thing, I made the choice that, hey, I need to submit this is the coach, she's in authority. I need to submit to what she tells me to do and I can modify some stuff so that I don't injure myself. I can do that, I'm a big girl. I can I can figure out how to do that. Um, but secondly, um, if I would have left, I would have left under offense because it did cross my mind where I was just like, well, you know what, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> I'm just gonna go home. Um, but when we do that, we miss out. I would have missed out on a great workout. I would have missed out on what I feel like God is telling me to do of how to be a good steward with my body. And maybe you used to pray 
for unsaved loved ones and you just had like a really bad experience um i will share that as i have been praying for family members some relationships are just kind of awkward and i think um there and i'm going to talk about this later on during our time together that um maybe my approach hasn't been the very best and so i am at a place right now where i'm just asking god for humility and also uh for wisdom and influence with individuals in my family like i believe that maybe i've come across as heavy-handed like trying to like push jesus down the throat of people and you know some people like when that happens people are like oh stay away from me um and in some cases because i have felt rejected by family members like there has been like offense uh, on my part but there hasn't been any conversation and maybe they're just like not upset or angry at me but um there there seems to be kind of like a wall and so as i got to this time of like where i really felt like i was like hey i want you to pray intentionally for your family members for unsaved loved ones that you may encounter i had to get over making sure that there is an offense in my heart well you know god they said this or they did that or they never you know reach out to me i'm always reaching out to them all of that is like rooted in offense and so I think about Jesus where he tells John the Baptist disciples like, yeah, blessed are those that are not offended because of me. And so blessed are you, Casey, blessed are you, Facebook friend, YouTube friend that's watching this video that you are not offended because you are doing what God has called you to do. Blessed are you that you're not upset at God because maybe God didn't do what you wanted him to do in the life of your loved one. Maybe God hasn't come through yet in the area that you've been believing God for, yet God is putting a burden on your heart to pray, to intercede, to evangelize, and you're just kind of like, you know what, God, I just want to do my own thing. I just, I just want to do my own thing. <laughs> I want to do what feels good for me. But I just believe like the Lord is like, blessed are those that are not offended because of me. So may not offense get in the way of us doing what God has called us to do. May not offense cause us to cut our assignment short because we just want to do our own thing. But may we submit to God who's in authority, who's in charge and who is the head of our lives. So Father, today I pray. I pray, Lord God, for our unsaved loved ones. Father, I pray, Lord, for those family members that may have rejected us or may not talk to us or may God just kind of have an arm's length toward us. But God, I pray that even in spite of that, God, you touch our hearts and that you touch their hearts. And Father, Lord, where there may be any offense, Father, we just give it to you, God. And I ask, Lord, that you will do a work on our hearts, that God, even as we are going down this road to pray for unsaved loved ones and unsaved family members father lord do a work in our hearts give us a heart a, a sweet heart lord for those that are unsaved um, that we come across god and um, i'm just asking god that you would just move supernaturally in our lives god in jesus's name amen y'all i'm in a hot car <laughs> but I wanted to get this message out before I opened up the doors at So Hope. I pray, if anything, that this just stirs something um, on the inside of you to just be prayerful, to be intentional. I pray that it awakens up a burden in our hearts and our minds for the unsaved. We know that it's the will of God for everybody to be saved. And as we get ready for this holiday season where we will be spending time with our family members, as we get ready for holiday parties, may we just be intentional and may we be open and may we be looking for opportunities to just point the way to Jesus. And so over the course of these 30 days, I'm just going to be sharing how God's just given me some insight on better ways that I can communicate with my family and with unsaved loved ones where it's not just Jesus, 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 Jesus. But um, really just like developing a conversation and just meeting people where they are. Um, because really God met me where, where I was. You know, it wasn't like, you need to get saved today. And so um, I might bring in my husband too, um, because we've been having some conversations about that, particularly with some of our adult children. And you know how as parents, you know, you see adult children doing things and you're just like, it's easy to just be like, y'all need to get saved or you need to, you need to pray. <laughs> and that could be totally true. 
but um, I believe that God just has a, a beautiful strategy and way to um, share the gospel where it's not just like ramming it down somebody's throat. So maybe you have some ideas. If God has been putting in your heart, you know, just ways to reach your family, um, I would love to hear it. And maybe we can um, do a video together. Um, or if you have just like a testimony, please share. I believe that it would be great encouragement, not only to me, but also to everyone that uh, watches these videos. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow for more prayer, more insight, okay? And so this is what we're doing over the course of October. We're just praying. We're praying, praying, praying for unsaved family members, unsaved loved ones, and also we're praying for ourselves um, that we will just be pure anointed vessels that God can use, whether it's speaking or whether it's just praying because we know that one waters, one, one plants the seed, one waters, but God gets to increase. All right, y'all. Bye. See you tomorrow.